Yo, yo, yo. Yes, all right, okay. What is good, peepees? Peepees and poopies. Hope everyone is doing great on this Friday. Better be, it's better be, it's better be. Yes, playing some bangers. Welcome to SPAC Radio. This beautiful Friday. Every Friday where we honor Rebecca Black for where we thank her for creating Friday. This better be. Uh, thanks. Good to see familiar faces. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Jorecita. Charles Music, what's up? Peter Delfmark, Denmark. Air Risk, Head Splitter. Alan Snyder, Asphyxia, Square Perception. At Faith, Alan Snyder. I'm seeing a lot of people from the Mass Panic, a lot of people from uh, Discord. We had a lot of new people from the uh, joining the Discord since the last stream, so that's awesome. The family is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, so I'm just playing some music in the background that's, uh, I don't know what's up with Twitch, mostly Twitch's policy on uh, me playing other people's music, but just to avoid problems, I'm like, I got plenty of my own music, I might just, I'll just play, play a bunch of my old school shit. Um, I see people talking about submissions, but I'm not doing feedback today, I just want to make some, uh, Feel like feel like producing. Uh, so Peter, yeah, <laughs> I was not planning on doing any uh, listening. Not planning on. Don't want to give any false hope. But man, I've been. Sp been splitting my head on getting this this beauty to work in FL. Just got this. Uh... Oh wait, I can just move my camera, of course. Just got my new keyboard in. Drop Alt. And it's a fine, it's a fine keyboard. 
It's a... Uh, it's a very pretty and solid keyboard, but it's a 65%, uh, so there's no function keys. It has no function keys. So, obviously, when you work in FL, you work with function keys, right? So, I've been spending all, all day and night on... Um, figuring out how to make different layers because you can make in QMK you can make different layers on your keyboard and I got it freaking to work so I made my own keybinds where I can just switch to like I call it FL mode where all my numbers are F keys and then I can modify FN that I go back to the last layer um, it was pretty fun to do I felt so nerdy this whole last last night and the, today yes the baby is <laughs> Can you hear her that loud? Is it that bad? Oh my goodness. I believe I have a... Uh, wait, maybe I should maybe I should put a stronger gate on my... Uh, on my mic. The baby wants feedbacks. <laughs> she gets a lot of feedback, don't you worry. Barely heard her. Right, I mean, I barely hear her, but these, these headphones close off really well, so I'm not, you know, I'm not always en entirely sure. Um, who said that about, who says something about an Egyptian? Ah, Tripper Prot. What happened with the track that sounds like Egyptian Rage? What was that? I remember, I remember us talking about Egyptian Rage. Uh, 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 uh. This is kind of Egyptian rage. Yo, Jertonator, uh, Ava Gina, DJ Asphyxia, Nerf Playmix, uh, GG Norbruff the third, Neckwolf, Vibement, Blast Music, Vapunky, Scambo Music, and Dolphin. Thanks for the follow-up. Uh, Nico7... W7? How do you say that? Uwu? Uh, thanks for the subscrip subscription. Uh, I might have mentioned you the last time already, actually. I'm seeing that this is from four days ago. <sighs> Rum Daddy's really flipping wet. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like making something like that. So... I'm in a few collabs, and uh, I'm a little stuck, so I really feel like like yesterday I've spent on just opening up old projects and trying to get some inspiration and trying to get some sound design going. <sighs> but it's been it's been it's been tough. I can't I can't uh, spend too many hours a day in uh, sound design. And all you producers who are in here know how time consuming sound design is and how you need to be like in the zone um so yeah i want to spend some time on it today too uh get some new sounds and just get like some vibes for uh to bring into the new collapse that i'm working on um i still got some time like there's no rush so far for them but uh you know can keep on moving it up forever all right so go away sauce new flippity sauce scene who you collaborate with yeah if only i would tell you that i'd make some people very angry cool collapse guys cool collapse in the work it just appears it, it just seems to be that I'm I'm the I'm the one delaying the projects this time. Lots of times it's been the other way around. And this time I'm uh, I'm slow during this pandemic. I'm not the only one who's being slow, but starting out saucy, yeah. <laughs> I got a new saucy scene, guys. Now this is saucy. What he's saying. What he's saying. Um, as you can see, I forgot to render it with sound. That's also very nice. 
uh, Jertonator, how long does Zoom take you to make, if you remember? Uh, we checked it on the last stream where I opened the project. It was 11 hours in total. More Kismet? Oh, damn it. Yeah, More Kismet has a new EP out. I just checked out Ray Volpe's, which was sick. Again, so good. I love Ray Volpe. Volpe, Tron! And there was someone else that I needed to check out. More Kismet. He has an EP out today, I believe. And it's been sitting in my inbox, and I keep on forgetting it to check it. There's so much music that I still need to check. <laughs> Nightbot is giving warnings. Okay, okay, that's better than... Oh, that's for the caps. Okay, that should be good. My last remix has 122 hours in NFL. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap, Roni. That's a lot. So I got this template here that I like to work in if I, if I just want to sound design. Let's see how my levels are. Wait, what did I just do? You're struggling hard because 125 mixers? Dude, by the time I... Pff, by the time I reach 80, my project is usually already like getting so laggy that... I don't even get further than that. Like, then I just want to finish a project because I, you know, how at some point it just takes away the fun of me of producing because just your CPU can't handle it. And like, even though I keep eliminating problems and like render for some reason, projects just get stuck up. They just get like, they just get stuck up. Where was that notification? Oh, okay. Uh. Dino Shaddix, thanks for the follow. Well, it's not only loading the FL, the, uh, the the project. It's like every tweak you want to do. If I have a lot of massives or serums, then like every little tweak I want to do, I'm mostly with massive. I have it, which is crazy because I'm using the 64-bit plugin. Um, like every little tweak I want to do just like takes a few seconds until it uh, renders and that's just a pain in the ass. When that starts happening, then I'm just done with the project. Like I'm I'm not working on it anymore, rending, wrapping it up. Okay, I was um Oh wait, I gotta switch it to gotta switch my keyboard to that layer. So yeah, um Massive gets super laggy, it does, yeah. Oh hold on, yeah, no, it was a short snare. Yeah, I don't feel like making snares today. Um, yeah, I know. Project get project getting laggy is uh, it's a pain in the ass. It forever is a pain in the ass. It is. It do be like that sometimes. Actually, let me turn my off.
It's just uh I would just like to drop it in a uh, just make a loop. Uh, build a custom PC, that's how you can beat CPU problems. Yeah. Um, I gotta, I mean, I, I put my, I put my computer together online and then they, they, the company in Spain that does this, uh, PC Componentes, they, um, for a little extra fee, they put it all together. But like, I chose all the, I chose all the parts and components of, of my computer. Uh, I've got an i7, 7700K. Um, it's not, you know, it's like, like, it's not like highest end, but for producing, that's like fine, like by far, um, got some, got some more RAM on the way. Thank God. Super, super thankful for that. But I got 16 gig RAM in there now. Yeah. Um, audio interface is pretty important too. Uh, I've got, I just got that Focusrite Scarlet because of the streaming, but I used to use like an old school. Uh, it's not even in my list anymore. But yeah, because of streaming, I have to use. If I'm not streaming, I I, I use I will use AZ, ASIO for all. But for streaming, it has to be on FL FL Studio ASIO, or else um, you guys won't hear shit. Yeah, did I just see a subscription? Hell yeah, Epsilon. Thank you for the subscription, the Prime sub. Thank you. 7700K is nice. Yep, it is. Yeah, i9, 9900K. You know, that's for FL, It's that's overkill. But for gaming, you, it's pro def you should probably have it. But for like this, the super tiny amount of gaming that I do... Um, my CPU is fine, and I, I play just on full HD. Should I should I stream some gaming? Do y'all want to see me noobing in some some game? I probably I have to change all my settings though. I don't I don't think I can even do it now. Um. So I have a. An i7, but I have a AMD uh, RX 570 in my uh, uh, four gigabytes in my computer, and a big ass Cooler Master. Like the Cooler Master is so gigantic, it's like it takes up a quarter space of my entire PC uh, unit. So I got this awesome fat racks set up. Oh wait, patcher presets are here. Okay, that's a bit extreme, I think. Turn down. Let me saturate that a little with some tape. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, holy crap. I look away for one second. Finally, a decent looking FL. <laughs> look at this setup, guys. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this sexy? <laughs> For a whale, let me see. Maybe I... it's not gonna work there. Vent minus. Da, 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 da. I haven't used massive. Uh, I use massive a lot still. Oh, holy shit, did I just click on... What? Okay, I just lost... <laughs> Clip that, please. <laughs> okay, I, cl I accidentally clicked on arrow up, and my preset is now gone. <laughs> I hadn't done that much yet, so... Um, wait, let me just... Actually, I, ca I think I just kind of keep it on this, though. Just let me just... And oh, clone this. And let's go to Serum and play around there for some Webbity Web bases. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on button up, and there's like no, you cannot control Z that. <laughs> wow, it's been a while that I did that actually. Um. Okay, I would like to use um, either Sludge Crank. And then use some... Um, Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> 
Oh, you actually clipped it? <laughs> yeah, you can't control Z in Serum. Man, I mean, Serum is already he heavy. Imagine if they would, if there would be like a history thing. That would only make it would probably make your project even way heavier if if you could control Z or your um, like within plugins. I mean, within these big ass plugins. Why is this? This should probably be short. Uh, where you find that wave table? It's just in um, it's in digital, sludge crank. Is there a I didn't crazy how we can still visualize sound within a VST and how you can draw out every single wavetable. It is cool that you can do that in Serum. Um, I'm personally, uh, I don't spend a lot of time in like those nitpicky uh, things like drawing wavetables and things. Um, I've tried making my own wavetables, but uh, mostly most of the time failed. Um, what am I doing? Let me do this on the first one. Why does this not sound like a... E One time we were leaving, you see if I guess my helicopter. Hey, uh, you think it's by helicopter? Me and my friends were talking about Spec said yeah, Spec was standing behind us. I don't remember standing. Are you talking about, uh, I didn't go by helicopter. I mean, I do remember, I think I remember this meeting, I think. We should have though, yeah, definitely. It was obviously, it's just a little pricey, of course, but like, it's probably, it's probably worth it, yeah. Uh, how do you create the sidechain? Um, so uh, I have just, I made, I made a little template here. Um, he, I sidechain with volume shaper. Uh, you should have this. So on one four, and then kind of a hard cut. I'm gonna make this a little longer actually. Kind of like this. Pretty much. Uh. Pretty sick. I have like such heavy post processing. Post processing. On. Should 
Should probably another put another LFO on this one. On the frequency. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a helicopter, but we were in a line for something. We were drunk. <laughs> I haven't been in a helicopter in Vegas, man. I was, I did it in a different festival, but uh, I did do it in a different festival, but not not in Vegas. Is my YouTube down? No, it's still online. Or actually, it might be down. Why does it say waiting? Oh, what? Is my YouTube... It didn't even go live? I wasn't even live. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. I don't like I don't like this base. Wait, I wanna uh I'm gonna do something with massive, um, because I have some, uh, which was it? I have some cool preset that I still wanted to do a wobble with. Of course, I'm not gonna find that right now. There's a per person behind you since the start of the stream. <laughs> I hear this every time. YouTube just went live. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Well, I haven't done sh I haven't done much in the party yet. Um, I'm forever going to hear that there is someone behind me. No, this shouldn't even matter. That's more like <laughs> Okay, this one I want to be a whoop. So, so Try lower the massive bass. Uh, uh, for now, I like to keep it a purr, just like that. That really dry. Because after it is gonna be a very saucy one.
This should be this should probably be the first one. Let's see. Spec Pandorum. What's the most important for you, loudness or quality? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would lie if I say that I don't care about loudness because I crank everything up a lot. So it's probably quality is obviously the most important, but I like to be loud. Loudness is also a kind of a style, you know? You can place a comp filter on the plugs. All right, let's see what you mean. A comb filter. Oh, you want? You mean the one in massive? Because I have the one from. Uh... Okay, let's get a sub base in here. I already have a sub. Switch this up. Uh, da, 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 da. The scaredy, scaredy sauce, Tritone, Andre Biggums, T Bound, Limo Music, uh, Rainbow Pig. Thanks for the follows. <laughs> That company clap. I haven't really tried out any. Um... Where where are they even? Uh... Sample pack, two gun goods. I haven't tried this out too much. Want the bass to be loud? Yes, loudness is uh, is nice. Serum native comp. Actually, I'm gonna turn this comp off. Love the offbeatness. Yeah, always offbeat.
think I asym asymmetric. Yeah, plus minus. <laughs> Wait, what if we, um, what if we FM from B? Uh, how long does it take you to make a song? Um, it can, it can be real quick, you know, in like a matter of hours. It can also be weeks or months. Uh, on my master, I have ozone. Ah, uh, no, it's just a soft clipper. Okay, this I like this more. I wanna I wanna go for a more tonal um, thing, and now maybe like so. Let's do it. Is that still too loud? It's just the sounds are very loud. Um. Leave trailer by was also safe. Wait, I think it's because of the F from B. Ooh. Let's turn let's turn down the speed. Restretch. That has such a nice crispiness uh, there. No, I definitely want to keep it on that side. Okay, so this is a cool, kind of a cool uh, fill up. Fill up sound. Are your bases and sub usually separate? Yeah. I mean, I'll add a sub in Serum just for that l nice uh, mid low layer, but I'll, st I'll still, you know, like equalize it um, till about 200 hertz. And then the subway, sub separate sub base will fill on that, all of that under there. Uh, do you recommend getting headphones or studio monitors if you had to pick between the two? Uh, headphones, definitely. Headphones you can always use. Right, like you can produce till late in the night, and you're not bothering anyone. And I've, I've, pr I've producing for years, well, since forever, been producing on my headphones. Um, and then you know, more in the more in the final stages of the process, it's good to mix down on um, on sp on the speakers. Sub pack, I still want to try it, uh, or like I, I have tried it. Um, I still need to. Order myself a sub pack just for listening. I don't know if for producing. I've heard some mixed thing, mixed uh, opinions about it. Anybody here rocking a sub pack? Sub pack just announced a new model. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Audio Technicas? Are these not Audio Technicas? But these are all these, right? I always mix up those two. Uh, these headphones are sick. I know that I know that a lot of a lot of guys have them. Um, the M M fifties, ATX M fifty, I believe.
Ooh, I like this. 14, let me add that to 14. Okay, but my fat rack is like definitely like super super loud. Um, let me replace. Oh, patch your presets. Replace it with my little meteor rack. It's just basically two OTTs, a uh, bit of saturation. Oh, well, it's only one OTT. Um, M50s, yeah, they're they're good. They're very they're very neutral. Uh, you should you should look up on YouTube um, some tests that they did of how neutral headphones are. And I've also had the um, what are those big ones? Are those are those the 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 buyers or the flat M70s have flatter response than the 50s? Okay, right. So you kind of want to have like really flat headphones that are comfortable on your uh, on your head for a lot of hours. So um, these are surprisingly basic, kinda. But like this material is is pretty good. Um, I have those those gray headphones too that are like really soft and like super far, look very big around your ears. Um, let me just put this in, um, call it needle because that's the preset that I'm, that's the massive wavetable. This one has no bass at all. Uh, what sample rate and bit depth do you use? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, no, this is buffer length. This is something else. I don't know, man. Just the standard. Just uh, whatever, whatever is default. You've mainly gotten used to them as one would with any system. I think the keys really know music sounds. Right, so it's most important that you are really used to your headphones. If you if you produce on your headphones and you manage to you hear them on, on like a club sound system, uh, a venue sound system and like um, in a car, on a computer, all kinds of things. If it's if it sounds good everywhere, then that means that you figured out 
how you produce on your specific headphones and that can be any kind of headphone however it helps if your headphones are very flat because if your if your headphones are like you know hi-fi bass boost and all that shit uh hip great for hip-hop uh, if they're advertised like that then you're probably gonna produce it they're gonna have too much bass so you're gonna have too you're gonna turn down your bass too much anyway you all know what i mean I'm not sure what I'm what I'm heading in this direction, but you know, it, this is just a sound design slash. Uh, I say it. Full around session, and like this is how literally how z projects like Zoom also start. So um, I cannot predict where this is gonna go. Okay, this is a nice low layer. I want to add some, um, maybe some, uh, like this. a higher layer on top of it. Never heard that before. I mean, I'm just saying, like, all those headphones that are... Every product always gets, like, advertised, right? They're trying their best to... To, to make... To get it sold best by people that don't understand much of about the technical... Like, the science behind it. You know how... How stores are selling cameras with, like, more and more uh, digital zoom... Like, they'll have, like, 2,000 digital zoom on it, which is absolutely ridiculous. You don't use it, and it's ugly as hell. But people are like, oh, the higher, the better. So um, that's just what I'm saying. Base, it's like bass boost um, is not better at all. You want to have a flat sound. YouTube comments aren't coming through. Um, I think they are coming through, just not... Um, I can actually add the chat here so you guys can see the, the YouTube chat as well. In general, YouTube is, my, is like Spanish chat. Um So yeah, there's your uh Oh, there's your YouTube chat. Webcam group. Okay, this is really <laughs> This is really This is really ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought I had like a recent subscriber thing there too. Kind of messy. Yeah, it's a little messy. Let's see how it's going. But I think that chat box is for both YouTube and um, Twitch. Yeah, it's actually gigantic. Probably something like. I don't know how far the chat goes, probably something like this. Like gaming mouses and keyboards? Yeah, aren't they trying, aren't they selling gaming mice, ma mouses, mice, uh, with like insanely high DPIs? And then the next thing I'm seeing is that all pros are playing on like super low sensitivity. Like, isn't that, isn't that crazy? 
Me too. When I play games, uh, I play on 700 or 800 DPI. Eight hundred DPI gang, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna, say, <laughs> I'm not gonna say more. But I'm, I'm, I'm really, I suck at gaming. So like, it doesn't even matter what I say about DPIs. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy playing Fortnite and Warzone every now and then, but uh... some of these pros are like on such low DPI that their arm goes like all, all across the table. Like, what the hell, dude? Okay, I'm gonna keep this base for like a, a B part, I think. Um, let me put this here. Oh, actually, let me just make a new one. Uh, but I prefer to do that in armor. I think. Yo, Xentrix, thanks for the bits. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Whoop, whoop. That could be cool. This is inky, okay. No, oh, the sub the sub is mm. Okay, let's get some um get some vocals. Get some vocals going there. Um, no, not in here. Oh, actually, where's my, yeah, in splice. Uh, where is that? Oh, Ricky, Ricky Remedy has some, uh, some really quick vocals. Pre drop from rougher sound around a lit. I think uh, I think I, I think I score did that that pre drop. Wait, that's out of key. Let me take that out. Okay, I'll make this like a real short plucky sound.
Damn, that's makes the Why do I think the whole time that it's in key even it's not? I'm just gonna cut it there. Also in Frontier, yeah. Where was the shut up sample from and rougher sound around? Oof, man, I mean, we're talking about years ago. I do remember, shut up. I think x did most of those uh, vocal samples, if I'm not wrong. Like if I, if I did vocals, then they, <sighs> often they come from like really random things. Um, I wanted to I wanted to try something um like this some uh, like fast stuff and then maybe take the stuff out Okay, okay, we'll we'll get we're getting somewhere. Um just need to fix this uh this key. What is up with this? Sometimes it's kind of hard to hear the key of a sub. We're getting somewhere, slowly, slowly. Um, you know, I'm just finding the right bass. Um, I'm gonna change this. Just trying out some of these uh, Toog and Good samples. I haven't really used them much yet. I like this one, I'm gonna tweak this one a little. Whoa. 
Whoa, why is that clicking so weird? Oh. Bob, Bob, Bob. Yeah, it's better in the off. Ref kick for the beat switch up? Yeah, usually. This one is not very... Um, let me just replace it with a different one. Yo, Starfall, thanks for the raid. What is up, everybody? FL Starfall, does that stand for Fruity Loops? FL Studio, thanks for the follow. How old were you when you made old bangers like Like a Boss and Cheese and Metal? Uh, that's like 10 years ago. I'm so I was about um, 20. I was about well, that was a little before. Was I already... Did I call myself Spec Hitty with like a boss? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I was like 21, 22, I think. Probably. All right, I want to bring some switch in this uh, in this unit. Praise the sun. Drop the holy hand grenades for me. Lost in the sauce. Loka breakdown? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, in the future, in the future. Okay, let's see what uh, I need to find a flow here. FL stands for FL. Damn yeah, right. That's good. I want to call myself FL Spec. FL Gang. Multi streaming? Yes. Okay, let's make a variation on this first one. Okay, um, here I'm going to bring a variation. So I'll make this a merge. And then we'll do here. Um... You can try a tape stop for transition for the rhythm drums. Yeah, I'll do that later. 
The drop can split the sea. Spec of realistic to ballroom on SoundCloud. I can hear the sub on the track here and remove it for accident. You can't hear the sub in ballroom? Okay, I don't think I've heard that before. Oh, that could be, be cool too, hey, to switch to switch between those bases. Um. What if I what if I make a a base pattern like that? Easy there, spam warning. <laughs> yeah, um, you were probably like just over the limit. Oh, I'm I'm uh, totally missing the whole YouTube chat. Um, how many years have you worked at the studio? <laughs> I talk about FL Studio, or you just mean like how long I've been making music? Because like Spaghetti, I've been for about ten years, I believe. Um. Someone says maybe half time triplets. Cool drums don't change, please. Uh, why your BPM is 145, not 150? 145 has that groove, man. It has that wonk. Machine gun bass pitching up. Yeah. Fuck up, fuck up, pump, pump. Let's make a variation on this massive bass. Remember when your artist's name was Furka Land back in the day? Oh god, let's not talk about that. Yeah, that was uh, that's a while ago. Side trends. Oh, maybe then I can now I can bring in that uh, first bass that, that uh, I was making. All right, so. I think we have to start off a little bit of a flow here. Okay. 
Okay, make a switch this one. Did I make it unique? I did, okay. Make a variation on this first massive. Goodness, um, let me just turn. Hundred thirty, hundred forty was old school. Whoops. Yeah. I agree on what uh, Edfaith Ed Faith said. Um, like, 150 is so fast, and that's why... Because that, cause that quarter note that, that, that is so popular and like so catchy um, and works so well on the dance floor, that like dubstep could like speed up, because when you follow that simple pattern, it's like hardly ever too fast, right? But the lower in speed you go, when you go into 140... You you gotta do something more than quarter notes almost right because you got so much space and so much time to fill so you have more, you can there's literally more time to be creative um, than in 150 I'd almost say. Um, I used to rollerblade. Yes, I did for uh, half of my life. I uh, I rollerbladed aggressive inline skating. Definitely, I miss it a lot. But like my old body is, uh, I have a I have a, a too dead bot to uh, rollerblade anymore. But man, I spent half of my my teenage years uh, like traveling to cities with uh, with friends. With my skate friends uh to like skate the cities that's how i know barcelona too from like going there with friends to, to go skate um yeah like barcelona is skate heaven anyone who skates should have done barcelona at least once in their life what skates did i run um i've i've had a bunch but i had my all-time favorites i use the thrones um I've had a whole bunch of rollerblades too, though. Like the the brand rollerblades. Friends in skating. <laughs> Can do this with a siren shot and one fourth of a beat to fill up space. Yeah. Spaghetti of my life. It's like Taking backdrop. Um, it's it's not really a taking backdrop, but it's um. I don't know. I don't know where this project is going. I'm just fooling around, man. I just felt like making music and uh, make some sounds. Hopefully, make a beginning of a cool uh, new song. But it's also like I need this time as well to um, just get into pro back into producing. Uh, just to get some more new, new work done, because like I'm kind of stuck lately with uh, with a whole 
with a whole lot of projects. And then I think it's it's I always like to fool around in projects in templates and like open up old projects and uh tweak tweak things. It's never too late to start, absolutely. Would you say twenty five is too old to start producing? I mean, it's not young. <laughs> but um you know, it, it depends on how old you feel, man. Um how how young your spirit is. <laughs> Because, like, producing you can do anytime in your life. It does matter if, once you start, if you want to start touring, playing shows, um, you're going to have lots of nights with very short sleep, um, a lot of sweating, a lot of stress, um, and alone time while, while traveling. And the older you get, like, the, it, the probably the more hectic in your life it, it can be. Um... You know, but no, it's not. Uh, there's tons of like really old DJs that are doing fine. Add some more, uh, more of these units. Okay, I'm going to leave that out for now, but uh, I just made that reverb. For, I'm probably going to use it later. Um, I'm not really digging the flow of this, so I'm just going to go back to to basic. Or, like, let me copy-paste this in the next one. What if I do a... What if I do a whole... Wait, a different idea. Let's group this. Make one... One eight oh eight. I need to make a shortcut for going to switch in between triplets and uh, quarter notes. It'd be so nice if you can do that. Love these type of tracks because there's so much room for experimentation. Yeah, exactly. Does Chesto actually produce? Um, I'm sure he. I'm sure he does. For his for the Chesto project, it's. Uh, I mean, it's no secret that there's ghost producers, and that he kind of more has a uh, sort of an end. End boss. Uh, 
sauce or like opinion. But I'm sure that he's a good producer. No way that he's not. This is not going nice with the high frequencies. Yes. Automate the pitch of, pitch of the bass over time. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a flow here. Well, let me let me bring that back to the other place. Gonna go for a more minimal thing here. These high hats are so rough. The soaky hats. It's this one. This one is really rough. Um, Tug and Guti hat, do they have good hi hats? These are really heavy hats, eh? Symbols. These are nice on the fours. Grab some Remy. This. Damn, that whole intro beat is completely different. Okay, what if I automate that? That could be cool. It's like all Spanish. <laughs> the YouTube chat is just freaking Spanish chat.
Yo, what up, Zarek? How are you? Turrican stuff is hectic? Yes, it is. Um, what if there is a screaming bass after like eight bars with blocking sound? Yeah, um, that was definitely gonna come. This could be a cool scream, I think. It's a little generic. Bring a bit Reminds me of Bring It a little. Yeah. A lot of similar sounds. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I kind of like that mix, that comb filter on that first one. But it makes it very closed. Yeah, let's take that off. Fine, just got home from work. Yeah. Um, I know that my stream time is kind of... It's not super convenient for American people. But if you just got back from work, that, then you're probably watching in European time. It's um, almost it's 6.40 p.m. here. El flow is the epico. Nah, man, I'm, I'm, this, this flow is going to change. I'm not happy with the flow at all. Um, I do think I had got some cool bass sounds going, but I need to uh, rearrange. Uh, what was I going to see? Uh, Peter, Shuan, Cotton Candy Gaming, Nightshot, DeFi, Polkas, Hand Music, Long Dick Print, I Am Jeshua, Mike Dubstep, Psycho Watch Out, Mr. OTP, AT112, Eno Daniel, Arrow Production, Poop Head. <laughs> Thanks for the follows. You're watching from Germany? Okay. Uh, did you have a favorite skater? Oh, a whole bunch, man. Um, Chris Haffey, Brian Aragon. Uh, obviously, Chris, um, Chris, uh, Chris Farmer. I mean, all those guys. Dustin Latimer, Aaron Feinberg. A lot of the USD guys uh, I was following a lot. 11.40 in Mexico. Okay, 9.40 a.m. Did I just hear long dick brain time? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Someone's name is long dick print. I don't know, man. I'm just reading out the... <laughs> just reading out the follows. Just reading out the follows. Uh, I was having this really cool bass in... Um, Was it Pastanaut? I believe it was Pastanaut. There's really cool bass that I want to see how I made it. It's kind of, it uses kind of an underlayer that I just made and then with a sign on top of it. Uh, El Axel, thanks for the follow. Uh, use these an awesome group and brand. Yeah, definitely. What, what are you into? Uh, do you skate? 
I still I like to watch uh, Roman Abrate and Sean Kelso, Colin Kelso. Oh, fuck off, Mill. I don't want to see you right now. Does your woman like your music? <laughs> she likes some of my music, but not uh, not not everything. <laughs> So I think I made this in the same template uh, a little while ago. Then it needs to go into the... Oh, I wanted to fix this. Need to, Need to make a little in-between riser and then it goes into a, a second drop. That is really cool. You guys should hear this. Why is this pitching back up? I gotta have that last part. Oh, gotcha. I have it already here. Why does this why does this just not go into it? I'll just make a new one here. this all right let's bring it up with a filter no actually i'm just gonna keep this one down
Sounds like an ambulance. Yeah, it does. I should probably do the same like there. Cut. Come on, man. Why did I change that? I should have just kept that. Sounds too much like an ambulance, doesn't it? Damn it. Ah, da, 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 da. I can I can um I can also try just to make it make it LFO up. So, why are these all the way down? Let's bring that up. Yeah, the switch is gonna be cool, but I need to uh, make a cool riser to it. Put it in FX. Oh, so this one. Um, long node resample. What if I LFO this up? I'm just gonna do that and then I might delete it later again, but... Okay, what is just... what is just a normal... Is this just rate... 1? Okay, let's just automate this. M. 
ambulance gang. <laughs> Pre drop sample call 91. Is it allowed to use that sample already again? Ah, people are doing it. No, but I don't want it to sound like an ambulance. It's kind of lame. Um, maybe I should just focus on. Uh... God, I'm so unfocused. This is literally why, why my project is not getting finished. I'm so unfocused. <laughs> Yeah, no, that LFO thing, I don't think it's going to work really well after that because of all the beats going on. Weird crank that used this build up to make his drop once, I think. Uh, you mean the LFO thing I just tried? Because I, th I don't know, I don't think it's going to work here. What if I push it up? Oh, okay, then I have to pitch it up with, uh, with silence. <laughs> if you have a stroke and you are being patient, waiting for the ambulance, are you patient or a patient? Man, these are the harder questions in life. I think the answer is 42. Okay, let's make this longer. I think I'm just gonna keep it uh, like this. Imagine having a dad who is a dubstep master. <laughs> Terrible. No silent? You're gonna go all the way to there. And then... I'm gonna get rid of these two here. No, not of the reverb. No, it shouldn't switch there. Shouldn't switch there yet. Imagine it, having a dad who is a meatball master. <laughs> ask, ask my daughter. Ask my daughter how it is. I like that little double kick there. Gotta do it again.
there it should like just say like bring it back uh, do we have any bring it back samples I think I do uh Bring it. Bring it. Yo, Chuck. These are the drippers. Clap your hands. Do okay. the dance. Not even in my big ass. Folders there. Um. Oh, whip snippets. No. Bring it back to yeah. I be rocking this sh I'm a OG the P P drop it. Man, drop the beat. I'm going in. Throw it up. Gotta make it mush up DJ. Bring that bounce back. Bring that bounce back. <laughs> bring that bring that bounce back. Okay, bring it back. That's kind of what I wanted. Let's see if we can work work that in. Bring that okay, it's 160 BPM. Let's fit that to, uh, oh, my brand new keyboard. I have to get used to it. Dad, bring that bass back. Stretch. OTT on it. To bring that bass bounce, <laughs> I could I could try that. Oh my goodness. These focus are, focus are so cheesy, and that's why it's gonna fit so well. Alright, I wanna have some uh, some more voices on here, backing voices. And let's put it in key. Oh. Uh, what are we working in here? E, uh, e minor? Yeah, E minor. Of course, that's not gonna work. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lower by two semitones. Um, I think I want to go higher in this. Two semitones? Three, three probably. Ah. Da, da, da. 500? Ah, it was actually minus five. Yeah, no, lower is probably better, actually. You're right. Um, OTT the vocals? Yeah, I have I have OTT on it. I don't want to add too much more. I I because it will be a huge difference with the basses. Uh from that bring that bounce. Bring that bounce. Oh. Huh? Really brings that bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I like to see a little laser things. Uh 
going on there? I believe it's just a, uh, yeah, it's going to last her. Yeah. It can literally be any sound. Bring that sauce back? Oh, hell yeah, that'd be sick. There should uh, a clap should come in. Um, where are my try samples? Claps. Something short like this, probably. Okay, now that clap is better, for sure. Why does this drop sound like a 2000 Toyota Camry struggling to start up? <laughs> you should do more Mumba Switch, like, like Swarm. I, I love doing it, I'm not doing it a whole lot. Uh, Dojo, Dojo has a bit of, uh, has a four to, f uh, four to the floor switch. Um, I like doing it. Yeah. Um, in this, this track is definitely going to have it as well. I love doing it. And that switch up is just so nice when you go from that four to the floor and then back to that dubstep or that trappy, like that flow is just so nice. Um, dash fireballs. Maybe it's just my phone, but I think the snare is a little tiny bit too loud. Oh, that might be, for sure. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm listening, I have my headphones like quite loud. Um, so sometimes I hear levels not very good. I don't think the snare is too loud. It's probably, I mean, it might be a little loud in the, in the mid-low frequency. Oh, oh. That salt and snare. Did I crank that snare up? Yeah, a little. It's a little. I'm gonna bring that clap. I'm gonna bring it up a little. It needs a bit of that punch because everything else is so loud. Um, you work in the ozone in the master. I think I have ozone on the master. Yeah. We delete these. So I have a a, a low cutoff and a high pass cutoff, and then um, in ozone seven, I think it's loading. Are we loading? No, it's not loading really. Let me close all my close all my screens. And let's just open up the mixer and then ozone. Oh I got some So Ozone brings some mad latency to your project. Okay, keep that in mind when you have that on your master. It's nice because you 
I like to produce while um, while already being able to hear what the end result is going to be, you know. Um, but the danger of it is that you constantly work with, uh, look at this, like five and 25 millisecond plug, um, millisecond latency. So on the master, there's a side cut off at the at the base. This can go a little more up. Oh, I already have the full package on it uh, since the beginning. That's wild. So I'll usually turn this off in the beginning. But dynamics I'll have on and the equalizer I'll have on. Sounds like Rick Ross sat on the snare. Maybe some sausage fatner will do before it cut through quite well in my opinion. Um... Yeah, I mean, I boosted it quite a lot in that 200 hertz area, but it, um, I had to because I have this clap layering with it and this one. Um, and just to be, to be, yeah, to, to hear it in the mix, I have to boost it kind of in that area. Um, I mean, maybe like a, a deeper snare could be... Um, probably be better it's also it's also a little boosted in volume top but that's like with all my sounds so like that's not even relevant interesting Yo, bonjour, spec. I don't believe it's live stream. What do you mean you don't believe it? You're looking right at it. Let me see if my YouTube is still live. Yeah. Uh, Crappy says, do you still have the Bang Bazaar project file? Love to see you showing us the project. Uh, I do. I do, but it's like really old. I'd have to like check it first. I'm really scared that like with a lot of my older projects, because I'm like, I'm multi-streaming. When I open up old projects where a lot of stuff is missing, um, it tends to like lag really hard on my CPU and like crash. And I don't want to risk that right now. So like every project that's like kind of old, uh, I prefer to not open like right on stream. I have to like fix it first. Uh, Joey Portman, you want some some female vocals in there? I don't know if I want vocals in here. I have like a really prominent lead. Collab with Crank that was pretty phenomenal. Yeah, hell yeah. Love back from India. A lot of uh, love to back to India. Uh, Seal, Seal Real. Thanks for the follow. Nadas, DJ Washi, DJ Washi Washa. Uh, Alexium. Fabs or Adapts, Paluchin, Avicii Never Die, El Axel, Peter Shuan, Cotton Candy. Thank you guys for the follow. Um, I think the other ones I've already mentioned. The Gnarls, thanks for the follow. This is actually pre recorded, and everyone in chat is a paid actor. <laughs> yes. You caught me red-handed. These are all ghost chatters. Uh, try some pan snares. You haven't tried it since the Jarvis collab. So that was mostly Jarvis, man. That was mostly Jarvis. Uh, I have done it a little bit myself, but like very, very subtle. I don't think I'm I'm very good at it. So if I do it, I'll probably like take either a silent snare or a sultan snare and like tweak it yo 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 uh how much storage does all your music take in your hard drive uh i don't man if you look around to to how many samples and 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 sound banks other guys have i'm really really uh i'm very i'm very minimal I don't have a whole lot of stuff, honestly. 
Like, these are all my plugins. These are all my plugins. I've seen so many projects of people that have like five tables here, five lines or like six lines full with plugins. Uh, this is just all Fruity Loop stuff and just like a few extra plugins from, from myself. Um, and then samples. I have a one terabyte sample drive, I believe. Or is it, or is it, or is it two? I'm not a, no, uh, it's, it's two. And yeah, I mean, that's not even that crazy, really. Spec, what track would you say? What, what would you say is your most experimental project? Uh, probably, I mean, uh, maybe Robot, r the Robot song might be most experimental. Uh, it was on my last EP. What is MECD? It's a plugin for uh, mid and side. It's basically mid side uh, dimension expanding, I guess. I don't know how you call it. Okay, I have my snare full mono, but for example, a bass. So I have this Harmer bass, so if I throw uh, MSED on it. Here I have a spectrum, I can see how much side, uh, how, mu how, mi how much mid and side there is. So if I wanna, it's basically, it splits it into mid and side. If I wanna have it mono, I can turn down side. But the cool thing is about, about this plugin is that you can tweak your mid or your side gain uh, without really affecting uh, without facing or like when you face it will it'll show you um, If I understand it correctly, you can like tweak your mid and your side without affecting um, So you can tweak your mid without affecting the side too much another way around Uh, lesser the bad boy were experimental. Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, for myself at least. Do you ever lay your snare with white stereo elements? Yeah, all the time. I think I do it here. So the snare is full on mono. So the snare is full mono. And then this clap, um, as you can hear, is white. I'll make it mono. And now it's white. I can actually make it a little wider here. I don't like using this um, knob here for widening a lot. It only works if, you're, if, you're so, if your sound is already quite white. If, if it's not, I prefer to not touch it, only for mono. But how do you know if the side knob adds stereo to the lows? Um, yeah, it doesn't split the bands. So you're tweaking the entire uh, frequency spectrum. You could easily set that up in patcher though. You can make, uh, just split your signal into, make two equalizers, split your, make, make bands yourself. So, and then put, put uh, MACD on one of them. Kick also mono? Yes, kick should pretty much always be mono. Okay, I don't know why, why I went for uh, 40%. Sometimes a kick has like nice information in the high end that you wanna keep stereo. You hear that? It has like a clicky thing. So that's why I didn't go full mono here, but I can do it because I have on my masters uh, by default this. So everything in the low frequencies, I cut off the, the stereo. So on the mid, I'm not cutting. Well, I usually want to cut like somewhere in this, a little bit in this area. In the side too, actually. But you also want to keep your... Uh, 
brightness. So yeah, the kit goes click. Yes, it does. It's a nice kick. I like this kick a lot. It has a bit of uh, room to it. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop the I'll drop the Discord link in YouTube because I know that the Discord that commands of course don't work in YouTube. Um, I mean I can link you the link tree as well. Wait, let me see if the Discord link still works. Yeah, it works. Okay, so copy link address. Let's see. Here's the Discord link. Um, Prashant. Hey, have you tried the new Massive X? I have tried it very briefly, but I didn't like it at all. So um, I gave up. I gave up very soon with that. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing a Q&A here. <laughs> Yo, you got I found this uh, old rhythm I was working on. Uh, I, I just today this mor morning I went I went through some old projects uh, to get some like new to get some ideas for uh, some ideas going for a uh, collab that I'm working on and uh, I, I might grab some bases from this I was working on this song and then I was using a sample and barely alive shortly after that came alive with of uh, came alive came out with uh, they released a song with the same sample and I believe multiple people have done since. So yeah, as you can hear, you all know this sample. Oh. And Barely Alive came out. They came alive. <laughs> they came alive with this huge track. And uh, I was like, meh. Okay. And I didn't open the project anymore since, I believe. Or like one or two times more. And um, yeah, I mean, I like it. It's kind of brown bread uh, versus... Um, Maybe that's right or something. 
Uh, it's just so based on that damn vocal that I don't want to... Amazon Prime ad? Oh, are there advertisements during my stream? I don't even know how that works. I did... If there was an ad, I did not trigger that. It was not me. Bacchus. Yeah, um, that high sound, uh, that high bass. I definitely want to do so, uh, do some uh, something cool with that. Seems you are really into that high screech. Yeah, um, if you know my music, then you've uh, heard that for a few years. <laughs> sounds like Oma Varela? Really? This sounds like Oma Varela? I don't think it does at all. Why is that? Have you ever tried to make a sick roll or bass with Trikolosk? Yeah, um, I mean, you can. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. Let me just grab a uh, a template as a challenge. All right, I'm gonna make a sick. I'm gonna sick. I make a sick growl with uh, three oscillators from Fruity. Can I use post processing? Let's see if I can do this. All right, so. Osk, Osk base. Uh, where's three girls? Osk there. Check it out, these sick wavetables, huh? Look at these wavetables. Yo, my, this is already a sick base. What's wrong with this? Just need some OTT and then it's sick. Wait, let me drop this here. Put it to the side chain. Okay, we need to make a web in this. So here we got our pitch section. Our volume, I'll make it. Nice, that one's nice plucky. That release is so...
Okay, some uh, dis disperser on there. Another equalizer. Sounds like a kick? Yeah, I mean, that's all a kick is. Just a very hard, very fast attack and a uh, pitch. Okay, let's crank all this. Let's crank this shit up. Well, that makes no difference. Ooh, this is fire. This is the volume. Sounds like Squidward walking. Add some uh, sub. And then after I add an OTT, I always want to bring down the highs again a little. What you up to spec? I'm making a bass with a uh, oscillator. A white noise layer with one of the os? Yeah, you're right. The white noise is this one. Make him a little. Okay, copy this. Okay, let's record this. Okay, just take this sound. Uh, let's lead all of this. Okay, let's throw this into a granulizer. You can literally bit crush the hell out of it. And distort for that must die stuff. What do you mean for the must die stuff?
<laughs> I kind like, I kind of like this. It makes it very wonky. It is for someone who's just starting to experiment with rhythm and bass stuff coming from other genres. Um, if you want to make rhythm and bass stuff, then you might, you want to, you know, the most important thing is probably your synthesizer uh, that, that you want to work with. Um, I'd recommend just watching tutorials or people's live streams and just see what people click on. But, you know, know that the essence of, of dubstep is, uh, you know, your drums and your sub bass. And then everything on top is all this sound design that is completely you. So just tweak in, plug, tweak in VSTs. And, um... Or take a three a three oscillator in FL and uh, play around with that. His drums are really bad. <laughs> yeah, make a bass, but uh, I'm not done yet. Oh, granalizer. Call it grain. So here we have the granalizer. So here's our bass. I just dropped it into granalizer. And now I'm going to link granalizer to the same pros. What if I link it to the same post processing again? Pretty sick. Let's play, play around with that. Um, I'll just fill in. So this just needs to be in key. What if I just hold it? If I just hold it? I like that really, that really gritty offbeatness. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, what's a good granalyzer if you don't have FL? I have no idea. I've never worked with any other granalyzers than this one. I mean, on other than Portal, uh, which I have hardly used still. Portal is a granalyzer too, if I'm not wrong. Um, however, I don't know shit about it. Uh, if you want to learn Portal, then you should probably watch uh, Eliminate. <laughs> Like, uh, Grand Lights is so cool, you can just tweak for hours and get really sick, sick uh, bass sounds out of it. Often when you go to mono mode um, and you stretch it, you can get really cool uh, results. Uh, on Vang VIP, going to see the light of day? No, I don't. Th I don't think so. Not in the near future. I have too many other things that I want to release first. So yeah, as you can hear, you can make uh, you can make such so easy, such cool uh, bases out of uh, one sample. What if you what if it's just a hold? How did you didn't know you were streaming? Yes. So um yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that uh that it's really easy to um with an oscillator. It's just your post-processing that does a lot. You just crank that sound up, you record it, throw it into Granalyzer, tweak it, and you get you got so many cool bases with that. Damn. I mean, I think if, especially when you go triplets, Granalyzer is so welcome. You really need this vocoder with the default patch running through OTT. <laughs> the default vocodex patch is uh, garbly. It's uh, it's very wet. It's kind of cool. 
You do need to do a little tweaking though. It's just like so obviously uh, vocodex. <laughs> Look, I'm, look how, how few tweaks I'm doing, guys, and like how many sick bass sounds just came through already. Just gotta throw on some, uh, some different drums. Um, just gotta throw on some... Uh, Uh, what's his name? Why is it not opening my s supply samples? Let's make some death step. Honestly, uh, FL has a um, in their drums a really a really sick crash. If I'm not wrong. Where was it? I like this one. It's like very uh, splashy. Just layer it with some other symbol and it's sick. Okay, we need to change our uh, main base and let's go lower in the uh, BPM. Do I sound like Samplifier yet? to make this more stabby. Um, so like this.
So you get some nice uh That snare is so broken now because of that pitch. Yeah, it loses the transient though. Um, let's go back to the Cranalyzer because this sound can be way cooler. So uh, Granulizer is really cool to make uh, risers too. You just hold your sample and just bring this shit up. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's almost 8 p.m. for me. Whoa, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> it's almost 8 p.m. for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I'm definitely gonna be using that granulizer thing that I just did in uh, in another project I'm working on. Crastic, uh, Crastic, see you, God. Thanks for the subscription. Uh, Martin. MJIT, G2 Corwin, Prod by Burnen, Fantex, Big, Big O312, Utov, Disconnected TV, Guile Master, Oggy Boggy, <laughs> When is Loka Breakdown 7, Mr. Meester, El Chapita, Sylvie Andre, It's Pyro, The Gnarls. Thank you guys for the follows. Uh, Xenox Music and Ale Illusion Music. As well, thank you guys for the follows. The plugin is uh, FL Granulizer. It's sick. You can make really sick uh, ri uh, risers or special effects in it, and um, bass, mostly stabby basses, that works really well for. Yo, Virtuoso, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah. Let's see, am I gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna save this for later. Um, Yo, thanks everybody for ch for uh, for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something, or uh, that you at least had uh, a chill time for the last two hours with me. I have definitely gotten some new inspiration for some new stuff, and yeah, I played around a bit in uh, in FL. Um, the next the next time I'm streaming, I'm probably doing a uh, feedback stream, but I'll announce it on my socials. Yeah. Why is this video ending? What the hell? Okay. Should be good. Uh, Went to send demos. Join the Discord. So I'll drop the Discord link one more time. But submissions for submissions for a feedback stream uh, that will only start when I uh, announce it on socials. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with a random system. I'm gonna try to see if that works, and then randomly pick uh, pick people to. Uh, to listen to the feedback from. Usually I'll do about 20 in a stream. So maybe on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so you can send demos. You have to join the Discord and drop and drop your demo in the feedback channel. Um, that is for now. It's...
But wait till I announce on, on socials. But you should definitely... Like, in, in Twitch you can type the command Discord. And in YouTube I'm gonna drop the link right now. For Discord. Why delete Otaku? Why you deleted the classics? I haven't deleted anything. I don't know what you, I don't know what you're talking about. Also, YouTube viewers, I'm sorry for the stream starting so late. Apparently, there was like this error that I had from the beginning that it was like behind screens. I never saw it. It looked like it was uh, I was live, but apparently I wasn't. All right, thank you everybody for uh, joining in the stream. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Uh, we'll get more productive towards we go to more streams. I, I'm very new to this. Uh, we'll, we're gonna do so, we're gonna do some really cool things in the future. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, be safe. And hope to see you guys on the next one. And hope to see you on the Discord. This is Spec Heady signing out. Cheers. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you.